Hey guys, we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. If I sound a little sick, it's because I am. The weather's been fucking crazy out here. My allergies are acting up and it's just been a fucking... It's a wonderful time to be in the south near the Gulf Coast, let me tell you. So today we're doing an unscripted rant on Dan Harmon's magnum opus. Uh, he's going to tell us just how much of a Nazi that he isn't vital information i mean obviously it's like uh you know hello how are you and the usual niceties i i also should add i'm not a nazi like that's a new <laughs> that's a new thing that you just add to to be polite that's the new minimum definition of interhuman communication you want to start i'm not a nazi but you have you to were, know that if it go a little something <laughs> Like and then you say, oh, Dan, no, it's, you're pandering, you're virtue sig signaling, right? right? Isn't that what you call it, you fucks? Yeah. Um, now, I don't know if I'd call this virtue signaling. I mean, <laughs> it kind of it kind of hits all the right notes. I mean, where does this even come from? How, how many people do you know have to, like, walk into a room and signal boost that they're not a Nazi? <laughs> even in today's climate, do you, do you really think that's, that's normal behavior? No, I think this is a crazy rant that's been boiling in the back of your fat fucking head to score points. Yeah, I think it's a little bit of virtue signaling. I think it's a lot of weird anger that's, as we'll see, pretty, pretty fucking misplaced. Uh, oh, it's a, oh, you say you're not a Nazi and then you get a big uh, bell and a cookie because uh, that's so easy to say you're not a Nazi. So here's a question I'm going to pose to everybody before we continue. Do you have to say you're not a Nazi? Do you think... Do you think that's a standard that should be set right now? Do people need to state what kind of affiliation they have with neo-Nazis or the alt-right? Do you think that's fucking critical to any conversation? Do you think we need to identify ourselves for you, Dan? We could talk about the president and his communication skills, which on the record I think are pretty fucking subpar. But I will, I will recognize that at least, yes, he denounced both sides. Let's be real, the neo-Nazis aren't the only people that are worth denouncing. But you're not going to do that, are you, Dan? You're, you're, pretty, you're pretty well focused on one group. I'm not saying that's hypocritical or anything, but let's just continue. Well, no, it's not that easy to say, is it? It's not easy to say you're not a Nazi. The president has a difficult time. <laughs> And, and he has no repercussions to fear, really, except for some Nazis not voting for him. And he has traded that today. He has officially decreed to the extent that a compulsively dishonest parasite can decree anything. Um, he has decreed that he is a Nazi because there are people goose-stepping down a main street in the heart of America, wherever the fuck that place is. Um, and... It would, would have been so easy to trade a couple of Nazi votes for what he might have hoped would be a couple of non-Nazi votes. Perhaps the easiest votes to get of all. <laughs> oh, you're just dripping with fucking charisma. So Trump decreed he was a Nazi. Are, are you fucking kidding me? Do we watch the same speech, Dan? You're out of your fucking element, dude. Are you... Where is this going? This has a logical conclusion, right? This this is like a five-year-old talking about politics. Simple non-Nazi votes, low-hanging democratic fruit, it's been called. I promise to not be a Nazi. You're hired these days. He couldn't do it. He couldn't bring himself to do it. And that is as close as you're going to get with a coward to it saying, I'm a Nazi. Okay, Dan, what if a Nazi watches your show? What if a Nazi enjoys parks and recreation? What if a, what if a, someone you consider a Nazi really enjoys Rick and Morty? You going to go out of your way to denounce them? Have you? You're, you're probably well on record now for denouncing Nazis, but are, are you stopping Nazis from watching your show? I guess we could just pin that on you. Oh, Dan Harmon, Nazi sympathizer because alt-writers watch Rick and Morty. I guess we should all just be responsible for what everyone around us does. I'm getting pretty fucking sick of this guilt by association thing, okay? I'm glad that I got the subscribers that I do, but I guarantee you that they don't agree with everything I say and I don't agree with everything they say. And that's fucking fine. That's life. But to think that you gotta be ideologically pure and be the president... 
That's 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 a standard. Actually, that's a standard too fucking high for anyone. You must be ideologically pure to me to be any kind of person with any kind of position. Are, are you fucking kidding me? That is what this civil war, and I promise you that's what's brewing, is going to be all about. And it's fucking over. The discourse is over. We have sat, we have talked, we have argued, we have pondered. The discourse is over. You hear that, folks? The discourse is over. Let's just pretend that the discourse was really happening because, you know, like, everybody in Hollywood and every social justice figure wasn't sticking their fucking fingers in their ear going, na 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 nazi can't hear you, you're bad, you're the devil, literally Hitler. That's not fucking discourse, Dan. Are you fucking kidding me? A civil war is brewing, okay? We're gonna be looking at a, a fucking survey a little later because you're gonna hit a statistic pretty soon that is mind-numbingly bullshit. The discourse is over. Yeah, I'm so glad that you're just a pudgy fucking writer and not somebody democratically elected. This is fucking insanity. You honestly believe there's another civil war coming. You're, really, you're doing a good job of preventing it, by the way. These people that tweet you when you retweet somebody, when you just say a simple fact that should not cause you to get a knot in your stomach, like, I'm not a Nazi? <laughs> The people that tweet you and say, Nor am I, but just out of curiosity. <laughs> just tell them to go fuck themselves. The discourse is over. The war has begun. So, the war has begun. That's just, that's beautiful. So, yeah, we, we can pretty much agree that people that LARP as Nazis are pretty, pretty lowly viewed in society. It's, it's no big secret that the alt-right isn't exactly hoisted up on uh, the media's shoulders or anybody really. They're very fucking unfavorable. But there, there's no room for discourse. Oh, and I love that straw man argument that, you know, if anyone on Twitter wants to argue with you, uh, you no, shut them out, fuck them. There, there's no room to talk anymore. The room, the room for discourse is over. The war has begun. Is this a new script you're working on? Like, what? where the fuck is this coming from? They're fucking Nazis. It's the bedrock of humanity. It is so low that the worst people in the world find it. And that's where they rally. And it's so low. We have gotten so bad that a third of our country has gotten there. 29% of the people are fucking Nazis. 29%. 29%. 29%. 29%. Oh boy. 29%. Okay. I'd really love to know where Dan got that statistic. A third of the country are Nazis. Are you out of your fucking mind? Okay. So here's a little survey here. And I really want to question its validity because the title is almost one in 10 Americans think it's okay to be a neo-Nazi, says terrifying new poll. Now, are they saying it's okay to be a neo-Nazi or is it okay to hold those views? I, th I think most people would say they are not a neo-Nazi. I think that even less would say, yeah, I, I, I tend to agree with neo-Nazis. How many of these people are saying, yeah, you know, they could hold that view? And that's it. Because they can, Dan. If people can be fucking Stalinist, loving, Maoist communists, people could be Hitler LARPers. That's okay. It doesn't mean you have to agree with them. Doesn't mean they're gonna really get anywhere. But it's oh fucking K. That's how free speech works. But we see here that, uh, approval of President Trump's Charlottesville response is at 28%. Is, is that what you're talking about? Are you really calling people that agree with the way Trump responded neo-Nazis? Is that where you're going here? Because this is the only statistic I could think of that even, like, comes close to what you're talking about. You realize what you're doing, right? You're slandering Americans. You're automatically putting a label on them that, get, yeah, like you said, most people in America don't really think that highly of. Are you that fucking stupid? You got a fucking microphone in front of you, and you're, you're already just shitting on 29% of Americans. And the survey that I'm looking at, that I don't even fucking agree with, really, goes right against what you're saying. You ever heard of the fucking phrase, think before you fucking speak? Let's face it, that's a minority! We can beat them! We have to say, I'm not a Nazi, though! <laughs> Two-thirds of the country just don't want to be political! It's not politics to say you're not a Nazi! It's like taking a shit! You just do it! Or you explode! 
You die if you don't shit, and you die if you don't say you're not a Nazi! Fascism is a fucking cancer. It will eat your country unless your country kills it. Here's what happens when you get cancer. Nothing good. Nothing. There is no way out of it. I'm your country's doctor. You've got cancer. You have fascism. You are going to suffer. You are going to fight. You are going to feel pain. You are not getting out of this. We have fascism. It is happening. We're fucking dead, maybe. Or or maybe they're dead. Okay, you're you're fucking inciting political violence. Maybe I'm just reading too deep into this, but I, I'm going to assume that what you're saying is from the heart. I'm assuming that this is all true, and this isn't just a joke, some new groundbreaking kind of parody or comedy. I don't think this is satire. I think that you really fucking mean this. So what do, what do I say to this? By law, you should be fucking investigated. There's no other way around it. You just, you just encourage political violence on a third of the country that might not even be fucking Nazis. Are you out of your fucking gourd? No one should ever take you seriously again. You should be fucking gone. You should be out of Hollywood. You have lost any and all credibility. You have lost any shred of fucking dignity that you have. Are you out? of your fucking mind. I keep saying that, but I really hope it's true. I really hope you're not being level-headed right now. I hope that this is all just something that you could wake up in the morning and say, oh, look, I was drunk. Maybe I overreacted because this is, this is shit that should get you investigated. That's about it. It's not a continuum. There's no gray area. It's not a fad. Fascism doesn't pop up and then recede when it finds out no one's into it. It doesn't respond to love. It doesn't respond to hate. It doesn't respond to ignoring it. It doesn't respond to timeouts. It doesn't respond to attention. It doesn't respond to lack of attention. You stab it! You cut it out! You bombard it with poison! Or you die, and in any case, you will probably die. Don't die talking to cancer! Bullshit. Utter fucking bullshit. There is no way that isn't true. Are you fucking serious? You, you're, you're honestly going to tell me that fascism in America is so powerful that even if we just ignore it and it doesn't make any fucking headway, that it won't fucking just die. The alt-right is so insignificant that Republicans and Democrats do well denouncing them. At this point, we got to assume that you're 100% serious. This is an us versus them war to you. And I hate to be this guy, but I'm going to be this guy because you put me in a fucking corner here and it's pretty obvious that you're being pretty hypocritical. What about communism? Is that just not as big a threat? Or does it just not matter? Is it is it not a cancer like fascism? Are these things both horrible or is one just so much worse than the other that we shouldn't even consider communism? For the record, I think that both will die. I think that the alt-right and the alt-left are not going to gain much traction unless idiots like you keep on pushing the fucking button. The only way that it's going to gain traction is if you actually succeed in encouraging political violence to the point where people are going to start seeing relatives go down like flies. People are going to go, well, you know, you know what I was relatively silent on this but maybe I should get politically involved maybe since that person just killed a friend of mine for being a neo-nazi maybe I'll take it up maybe I'll be an alt writer maybe I'll be a fascist you don't see the fucking problem here okay I, I say that this has gone off the rails far enough just gonna just gonna leave with a final question to Dan what's a vegetable look like Harmon how far does your activism go? Are you out there in the streets shooting Nazis? Are you going to be on that team? Are we going to see you out there fighting the civil war? Because I don't think you will. I think you're going to sit in your fucking house, eat your fucking ho-hos, and just watch. And hope that nobody comes knocking on your fucking door. At what point do you become not democratic enough? Because the people that are fighting the Nazis, do you really think they're going to go straight back to democracy? It's not very fucking democratic to, to promote political violence. It's very fucking stupid. I don't think I'm going to see your fucking tubby lard ass out there fighting. I think that you're just stoking the fucking fire. Nobody should take Dan Harmon seriously. From this point on, I don't care, even if he doesn't get investigated, which he really should under the fucking law, he just incited political violence. But even if he doesn't, he shouldn't have a fucking job anymore. And this goes both ways. If somebody, went, if, if Tim Allen went up on stage and said, we need to shoot these commies. We need to start shooting Antifa in the face. This is a war. 
then yeah, I'd say the same fucking thing. This is fucking ridiculous. The only way that a civil war is coming is if you people are actually successful in egging on a fucking war that'll be fought by the lower and middle class and maybe some bourgeois cunts from college that got a little fire in their belly. But I think they'll back off pretty quick once gunshots start ringing out. But I don't think Dan Harmon's gonna get off his fucking lazy boy and fight the war. I think he's a Starbucks patriot. So, yeah, way to lose all credibility, Dan. Go fuck yourself. I'm a pussy who gets fucked right up the ass. I am a cock. 